Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's explore Valky. So you will learn what is Valky, why are customers moving from Redis to Valky, how to install and configure Valky using Amazon Elastic as serverless for Valky. Additionally, I will also perform two interesting demonstrations in today's video. In the first one, through a sample application, I will show you the performance difference between Valky and Redis. So we will compare important parameters such as throughput, latency, etc. And in the second demonstration, I will show you how to upgrade from Elastic as serverless for Redis OSS to Elastic as serverless for Valky. And that is with zero downtime. Overall, this video is going to be very insightful. Just make sure you watch it till the end. Also, I should thank Amazon for sponsoring today's content and believing in our content. Let's get started. So let's start with understanding what is Valky. So Valky is an open source, high performance, key value data store. It is also one of the fastest growing open source projects with over 21,000 GitHub stars and close to 800 open source contributors. It comes with BSD license type, which makes it the most permissive open source alternative to Redis. You can use Valky for various workloads. For example, you can use it for caching. You can use it for your messaging queues. You can use it for your session store. You can also use Valky as your primary database. The most important thing, Valky is backed up by Linux Foundation, which means it will remain as an open source project. But the question is, why are companies moving from Redis to Valky? There are multiple reasons for this. Let's start with the most important reason first. Just over the last one year, Redis has updated its licensing type two times. Initially, it went from open source to closed source. Recently, it has updated its licensing type to AGPL. Now, this constant licensing type change created an uncertainty amongst developer community and also organizations. The reason is simple. When it comes to organizations, they don't want to deal with licensing type changes when it comes to their caching service, queuing service, or even their primary database. So that's where companies started looking at alternatives. Now the second reason, as I told you, Valky has emerged as an open source alternative. So it started building a great community. Now with the great community Valky has, so Valky started releasing multiple new features. Now this is another reason why companies started looking at Valky. And finally, the other reason for the shift from Redis to Valky is because of the performance enhancement of Valky. Companies started moving from Redis to Valky, they have noticed Valky comes with a better performance. Even in today's demonstration, I will show you through a sample Python application how the performance of Valky is better than Redis. We will consider important parameters like latency and also throughput. So these are the reasons why companies are shifting from Redis to Valky. Now, what is the easiest way to install and configure Valky? Because, you know, if you want to start with Valky, you want to start with a simple installation process. So this is where you can go for Amazon Elastic Cache. So Amazon Elastic Cache serverless for Valky is the easiest way to manage Valky in production. It offers Valky as a serverless 
fully managed caching service so you don't have to take care of infrastructure management and even downtime maintenance so it comes with zero infrastructure management and zero downtime maintenance the best thing is that you can also use amazon elastic as serverless for valky within your free trial aws account so if you want to perform a proof of concept or maybe if you want to try it for your sidekick project you can start using your free trial account and try out valky now that you understood what is valky why are companies moving from redis to valky let's go ahead and install valky using amazon elastic as serverless so installation is pretty forward just head to your aws account and search for elastic cash so it says real time performance for real time applications click on get started where you have option for valky memcache and redis oss i'll go with valky valky is also recommended option by elastic cash and as i told you at the beginning of the video it is also a very cost effective solution if you go for elastic cash serverless for valky you can save up to 33% and if you go with the node based elastic cash model you can save up to 20% so i'll go with the serverless model and i'm not creating a new one from the backup but i'll just create a new cache let's just provide the name i'll call it valky demo demo for learning valky and this is important the engine version that two versions at this point of time 8 is the latest version of valky with a lot of new features so we will go with 8 you can leave the default settings but you can also quickly go through them for example do you want encryption in the transit do you want encryption at the rest what are the security groups that are assigned to it you can just go through these options and click on create and that's it that's all what you need to do if you want to spin up a valky instance using amazon elastic cache serverless for valky so this would take up to 2 to 3 minutes just wait for the status to change to available or for the status to change to running so the status is changed to available and an endpoint url is also generated let's say you are a beginner and you are not sure how to use the endpoint just scroll down there is a section for connectivity and security and there are various options on how you can connect to your newly created cache the easiest way is to go for aws cloud shell just click on connect to cache a cloud shell instance is created for you and it is pre configured with the valky cli so all that you need to do just copy this command and run it on your cloud shell that's it you are connected to the newly created cache you can verify by just running a basic ping command and make sure the response from your valky cache is pong aws cloud shell can be used for quick operations let's say you want to quickly set a new key value pair within your cache so you can run the set operation something like set x key is equals to hello elastic cache so you performed a quick set operation similarly you can also perform the get operation let's try to get the value of the x key and the response should be hello elastic cache perfect so this is the most easiest way on how you can connect to your elastic cache serverless for valky you can also go for the programmatic way let's say you want to connect cache within your existing application so you can use valky glide which is a recommended package right now it is supported with python java node js and clear instructions are provided 
how you can use this Valky client. If you prefer using the client libraries, there are also a bunch of client libraries and instructions on how to use the client libraries. Perfect. Now that we have the Valky cache available, in the same way, let's create the Redis cache as well so that we can start with our first demonstration. That is comparing the performance of Redis cache with Valky cache. It's very simple. Just go back to Amazon Elastic Cache and click on Redis OSS Cache. Click on create a cache and perform the exact same steps. For example, continue with Redis OSS. The Redis OSS box is already checked. Just provide the name and click on create. Because I already have one, I will use this Redis cache and compare the performance with the Valky cache. But Abhishek, how do we compare the performance? So I already wrote this Python script. This will perform nearly 10,000 operations on the cache. These are going to be combination of the set operations, get operation, as well as delete operation. And this program automatically calculates the throughput for those operations P50 latency, P90 latency, as well as P99 latency. This is typically what you need for benchmarking a cache. So we'll take this program, right? So first of all, I'll just copy it and I will run this on my EC2 instance. So you can also use one of your EC2 instances or make sure you host this program from where you can access the VPC as well as one of the subnets to which your cache is assigned. So this is my EC2 instance. Let me connect to this through my terminal. So I'm connected to the EC2 instance and I already have the file here, benchmarking.py. To use this script, just open the file and update the endpoint of your Redis host or Valky host. The name is Redis host, but typically it is the name of your cache or the endpoint of your cache. So first we will run the benchmarking on the Redis that is Elastic Cache Serverless for Redis OSS. So I'll just copy the endpoint. I will remove the port from the endpoint because I have defined a different variable for the port. So just remove it and replace it with the endpoint. Perfect. Now just execute the program python3 benchmarking.py. This will take roughly 15 to 20 seconds. As I told you, it is going to perform a lot of IO operations, get, set and delete on the cache. So it will take roughly 15 to 20 seconds and it will print all the throughput related and latency related information on the screen. Perfect. So we have the benchmarking results for Redis OSS. Now let's try to run the same script, but this time for Valky cache. So I'll just go back and copy the Valky cache endpoint and I'll replace this within the benchmarking file. Great. So I'll put this here, remove the port, save the file. Again, we will run the benchmarking.py, python3 benchmarking.py. So again, just let's wait for 15 seconds and we should see the benchmarking results. Perfect. We have the results and it is pretty clear that, you know, if you look at the set operation, total time or throughput, Valky cache performed better, but still let's take both of these parameters. Let's use an online comparison tool or 
maybe even we can use chat gpt let's provide both of the benchmarking results to chat gpt and ask it to compare which one is better so let's write a simple prompt compare benchmarking results of two different caching services first one so i'll provide the first benchmarking first one is redis and second is valky provide explanation on which caching service is better okay so let's provide the first set so this is the first set i'll just copy it this one is redis and this one is valky i've run this multiple times you know for the purpose of demo i'm just showing you a single operation but i have you know verified it for multiple operations i even ran it for almost 30 minutes that is you know continuously multiple times let's see what does chat gpt say okay so it says performance okay for the great so when it comes to set throughput it says valky is the winner similarly get delete operations and also when it comes to the p99 which is one of the key uh, comparisons valky stands out so overall you know it says valky has the better performance it is a better caching service based on the benchmarking results so you can also try it out by taking my uh, benchmarking python file or you can just prepare one of your own by running multiple io operations now this test proves that valky performs much better when compared to redis oss now it's time to understand how to upgrade the existing elastic cache serverless for redis to elastic cache serverless for valky so this is the one all that i have to do right is to click on upgrade to valky button this is our second demonstration and this is just a click of the button it asks you for engine version so i'll go with the latest version of valky i'll just say 8 and click on upgrade button so just in a while the status is changed to available so this means now your redis cache is completely upgraded to valky just like we have seen before you can head to connect to your cache section and use the valky cli to connect to your new valky cache the best part about valky it keeps the api completely compatible with redis so even after upgrading from redis cache to valky you can still use the same commands and most of the times you can also use the same api reference so this concludes our demonstration 2 so overall we learned what is valky we learned why customers are moving from redis to valky and we also learned how to use amazon elastic cache serverless for valky i hope you also found two demonstrations useful one is for comparing the performance of valky with redis two how to upgrade from elastic cache serverless for redis oss to elastic cache serverless for valky if you have any questions let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video take care bye bye